We're going to talk about for our lead topic this week the uh, Repu- the state of the Republican Party heading into the 2024 elections. And spoiler alert, it's not good. Now I've made my opinion on Donald Trump clear. I'm not the guy's biggest fan. I'd vote for him over Biden, but I would prefer somebody else. Um, I'd, as you can see by my ratings the last couple weeks. Uh, but everyone else seems to be a mess too, starting with Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis at one point was the hottest rising star in the Republican Party. After the 2022 midterms, remember, because Trump's candidates kind of fell apart at the seams, whereas Ron DeSantis absolutely mopped the floor with the Democrats in Florida, there were, you could have argued it was higher than Donald Trump's at one point. His stock was. I don't think you can, I don't really think you can say that now. It, it, it begs the question, what happened? Well, a lot of stuff has happened. Now, you've got DeSantis's donors are threatening to pull out um, his campaign. His, his poll numbers are in the toilet. His campaign is completely falling apart. It's a total disaster. So what's going on? And I think, unfortunately, this is an Occam's razor situation where it really just does boil down to the simplest explanation. And the simplest explanation is... He thought he was bigger than the cult of personality that is Donald Trump. And I don't use the term cult of personality in a positive or negative way, just more of a factual manner. Like, it is what it is. You cannot, as a Republican in 2023, in today's Republican Party, challenge Donald Trump and expect to have any type of future going forward on a national level. You just don't. You can't. It's over. I mean, how many times do we have to see this movie? Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush... How many people does he have to bop the floor with? Everyone that stood in his way gets emasculated and humiliated. And Ron DeSantis, when your your entire profile, your entire public image is, hey, I'm this strong man, alpha male type that's going to take the fight to the left, and Trump emasculates you before you even get on a debate stage with him, that really doesn't look good. That's like an NBA team that can only hit threes and has no inside game. When you take the three-pointer away or those shots aren't hitting, they have nothing to fall back on, and that's what we're seeing with DeSantis. He tried to out alpha the ultimate alpha male. And so Ron DeSantis has completely fallen apart at the seams. He has everything he's done has backfired on him. He went from the hottest national star in the Republican Party to the punchline of a joke. I mean, you have people out there making fun of his wife's eyebrows. Of New York, po- New York Post or Vogue or one of the... And the, what's funny was the woman that wrote the article was absolutely hideous. She has no business mocking anyone's eyebrows. I mean, she was just absolutely disgusting um, to defend... Stupid, stupid <laughs> bitch. To defend Casey DeSantis. So Ron DeSantis, which is your plan B. Ron DeSantis, his whole... The appeal to Ron DeSantis was he's mostly the same policies as Trump, but more electable. Now he's behind tr- or behind Biden even more than Trump is in the polls. What the hell is going on? He's completely fallen apart. His campaigns, but it, it's been a total train wreck. How has it fallen apart to this degree? And there's no one else below him that's any better. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.